Good morning and welcome back to the vlog. So right when I got back from Cabo, I got back on Wednesday night, the best time ever in Cabo. Went to New York on Friday to celebrate one of my best friends from high school, her birthday. just because I don't get to see my high school friends a lot and I wanted to just spend that time with them. Anywho, it's now Thursday, very far away. So what, what's the date? The 6th, the 5th, March 7th. Oh my goodness gracious. Life goes so fast. It's crazy. It makes you really realize things that make you upset. It, it's really not that big of a deal at the end of the day. I'm still learning. So getting, putting a little bit of makeup on because I have a meeting at, uh, Noon, but I'm gonna go to the gym before and I was just gonna take the meeting in my car to look a little bit presentable Gonna go to the gym with Riley lift some weights I got this brunette from Noble last week and I'm obsessed with her. I actually have it in black. I think it's 98 So comfortable so easy to just throw on before it work out. I just made this Tea because I've been usually doing hot lemon water in the morning, but I made hot lemon ginger tea so drinking this on my little morning walk, it's been so warm in Charleston, which has been so nice. It's almost eight o'clock. I wanna show you guys what I was wearing today because I got these shorts, it's about to be short season. So sharing these, there's, I think they're the fast and free three inch. I'm wearing a size six. I kinda like them like not super tight. Like I like a little loose. They fit me pretty well. And then they also have built in undies. So that's nice. Wearing Noble Trainer Plus. I really like the orange on the bottom. It's kind of different than what I usually wear because I feel like I always just white normal shoes, but wanted to. Whoa, the attitude. The attitude. <laughs> and then I talked about this crew neck and then this sports bra. It's kind of, it looks a little weird because like the padding maybe or this little see-through part. But what I tell you guys is this is like the softest sports bra ever. And then it's just normal crossing. But I got cupping yesterday, I don't know if you can tell. On the front of my shoulder, there's like, she worked on the shoulder a bunch. She cupped that and then she also cupped my shins. She like did the gliding cupping. Oh my goodness gracious, it felt so good. Going on a walk, that was like super, probably just made y'all a little motion sickness. I got back from our walk and made this little coffee. I've been getting these at just where you can get them at Kroger, Publix, Target, whatever. And super coffee they have. I think like 20, no, 10 grams of protein. So it's a good way to like get protein in the morning. But I'm about to edit for like 30 minutes before going to the gym. Two more things I've been obsessing over lately is Giggly Squad. It's a podcast with um, this girl named Paige. I don't remember her last name, but she's on Southern Charm, I think. I'm not good with the reality shows. And now I kind of want to start watching them because... I've been listening to their podcast. And then Hannah Burner, she's a comedian. I've always seen clips of her on TikTok. And she's so funny. She does, she was actually in Charleston. I was out of town. Mac and Kaylee went to her show though. But their podcast is so funny to listen to. I was listening to it in the shower yesterday and I literally caught myself like laughing out loud. So if you're looking for a new podcast that's just like something fun and like lighthearted, listen to their stuff because you'll probably laugh. And then I have been getting back into reading lately. I'm trying to get out of my head so much. Podcast, reading a book. This is book. First Lie Wins. It's pretty good. So you guys are looking for like a thriller, thriller, love story, some action. It's a good one. some podcast one second the parking lot for ethos the gym i go to is like just a gravel lot 
And in Charleston, whenever it runs, r rains, it floods. It's a shit show in this par parking area. But I, we did some sled pushes. Some <laughs> a damn roller coaster. I only filmed a few of the movement just because it was hard to like place my camera. So I still want to get a good workout in, you know. But I'll put in the description the workout that we did. I had a protein bar. But I'm about to make lunch. It's like noon. I'm unloading the dishwasher right now, but I want to show you guys what I'm making for lunch because it's this like wrap and it's so good. Right now I'm just gonna put some mushrooms on the stove top. I also showered and changed. Oh my god, why is that open? Okay, so this is like the wrap. It's a sweet potato wrap. Throw it on there. So you have to give Rosie some. Eat some myself. I love this salami from Trader Joe's. Smoked Gouda. Absolutely banging. I'll put like the oven on to like 220. And just pop that puppy in there. really need to order a camera tripod <laughs> because I feel like whenever I set it up, like you guys are on a flower base, right? I feel like I can barely get my face in it. Okay, so we have avocado. Do a little bit of avocado. Salt and pepper. Mushrooms. I love mustard. Heinz. And pickled onions are my absolute favorite thing in the entire world. So add some of those. And there you have it. A little lunch burrito wrap. I'm finishing up the Cabo vlog right now, but I'm also doing some shop, not shopping for myself, but for you guys, I'm doing some lists on Revolve because today they're doing their anniversary sale, which is 20% off everything. And whenever Revolve does something like this, I always go to like my favorite brands, AKA free people. Look how cute this is. I'll link this for you guys, but I'm like obsessed with this. I think I might order. There's my lunch. It's like, it's been like an hour style, this girl. Exciting. And then I think I'm gonna bring back what I'd wear Wednesdays, but I'm not gonna do as many. Cause I understand like not everyone wants to pay. And I still get a lot of questions about it and I wanna do it because I don't know, I like you guys. Anyways, this snack mix, I just ate the whole bag. Nut mix, it's pretty fire though. I got it at Publix. Riley's about to come over and we're gonna walk. It's so nice outside, it's like 70 degrees. And Rosie gets to see her boyfriend. You wanna go see Shark? Shark's here. <gasps> oh, get your toy for Sharky. Sit. You wanna go see him? Okay, we'll be back. Just got back from a little two mile walk with Rosie, her boyfriend, and Riley. Cracked open a poppy. It's like 2 p.m. I'm gonna work for the next hour and a half. And then I'm also gonna show you guys my packages because I don't even know what's in them. All right, here's a little <laughs> pick me up snack. Currently doing some Instagram like questionnaire replies about outfits. How good does that look? So it's like 5:45. Um, let's do an unboxing and then come on, Rose, come join. You know the hyenas, hyenas from Lion King. That's what Rosie looks like when she does a scratch. Come here. Play right here. Okay. No, no, no. Sit. Now you gotta watch while we unbox all of her packages. She has gray on her chin. So, I got two pairs of shoes from APL, which is crazy. First up, oh my. But I got these. Oh, I mean to scare you. Come back. These are them. How? Cute and I love this style. I actually have mm -hmm. this style with a different color underneath They're really comfy. I I feel like you guys ask me about running shoes, but like I'm not a runner 
I wish I was. Like, the most I'll run is like three miles, if that. And it's like stop and go. The only thing that's weird about APLs is their sizing. Oh, I think these will work. Look how cute. I love it's like a dusty rose. Okay, so that's the first one. I need to. This interesting thing is for a brand deal, which I'm super excited to use. I have to stick it into a wall, apparently, and it is like a punching device. Okay, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Oh my, just busted my eardrum. I hope y'all can see how close her bark was to me. I think these are slides. I actually have a pair of APLs and they're like, the APL slides I have and my Noble slides are like the most worn shoe of lots in October. Oh, mommy got new slides and they're furry. They're a tight squeeze. I got a size seven and I'm usually an eight because they didn't have an eight, but I really wanted them. <laughs> Look how cute. Oh, come here. Bring your bone. Go get your bone. Good girl. I don't know what, so Rosie's favorite Thing is like the bones with like the stuff 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 I need to go back to school anyways that's her favorite bones because she just all day just gnaws on it and tries to get the stuffing out Ilya I love this brand I think it's complexion stick so just contour cover conceal this one is sunbun which is so crazy that I'm getting PR from them because I was like 12 wearing their sunscreen. And that was the only sunscreen I would that my mom put on me. Because I liked the monkey. Oh my god, they're so cute. Daily body, daily gel, daily face. And a hoodie. I need you guys to see this package. Good days daily. I need that. What is this? It's actually a lens for a camera, so like fish eye, I guess. I have showered, picked out my face, literally went feral with it, put the Mario Pedestru drying lotion on it, so that's what's on my face right now. I'm wearing my new so, uh, crew neck from uh, Sunbum, and it says, good days daily, so that's kind of cute. About to warm up what I made for dinner last night. I'll show you guys. I had... Oh, it's so yummy. Zucchini, squash, sweet potatoes, quinoa, and this sausage that's so fucking good. I'm going to show them. Come here. Come here. Lay down. This is how Rosie acts before she gets her food. Her food's sitting over there. Do you, Rosie? Hey, come here. Lay down all the way. Look at mommy. Look back. Hey, she can't even look at me because she doesn't want to take her eyes off the... Eat, good girl. Um, before I show you guys my dinner, <laughs> I need to show y'all these. Oh my God, why was no one telling me about this? Chocolate crunch, sea salt caramel. Oh my God, I had one last night and my world has changed. <laughs> They're so good. Okay, here she is. Saw some mushrooms in there. I'm gonna add some pickled onions. But I'm gonna eat this, enjoy some One Tree Hill, because I'm still watching it and I'm loving it. But I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, you guys. It's Friday. I'm so excited for the weekend. It's 7.50. I'm working on a computer right now. I'm doing some editing. I'm about to upload the Cabo vlog and then, so I was supposed to go ride a bike while Riley runs this morning. And yesterday, Riley and I went to the office, my leasing office here, because I overheard someone talking about how they have bikes for, like, you can take the bikes whenever. So yesterday, don't know how, but happened to be one of the days that the office was closed. So no one was there to uh, ask about the bikes or hand me over the bikes because they're locked in storage, obviously. And I don't think the office opens till 9, and Riley runs by me at, like, 8. 8.30, so I'm like, oof. I run two miles, my pace is like 10.20, so 
I'm drinking this coffee from Milani New. It has 10 grams of protein and 200 milligrams of caffeine. Banging. I just got back from a little run. It's like two miles to the beach. Rosie and I ran it, but like didn't run straight. Like I was walking for a good bit of it. <laughs> and then we got to the beach. Rosie walked around on the beach for a little bit. She enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. My friend Riley was like a little bit ahead, but I like literally could not run as fast as her. So I texted her and I was like, I'm sorry, I couldn't see you. <laughs> but in my smoothie, there's frozen blueberry, frozen banana, spinach, yogurt, tablespoon of peanut butter, some armra, and a scoop of vanilla protein powder. And then I have these like coconut flake and cranberry and walnut stuff. It's really good. And then raspberries and some dates in here too. High protein and it's very filling. It's like 10 a.m. I'm just updating some links right now. My dad's calling and I have to answer it because he's my favorite person in the world. You would be the villain on the show. Think that. Because you would tell people what they don't want to hear. People don't like to hear them. Yeah. That's good morning, you guys. Um, yesterday, so for like the past like few months I've been having like terrible headaches and yesterday I had basically a migraine and I feel like I have a pretty strong immune system. I don't get sick that often and usually when I get sick I kind of just like keep pushing through and like which sounds bad but it's just I've always been that way. I just push through whatever I'm feeling especially when it comes to headaches because usually if I have a headache and I get up and move and like go see like I don't know, it just, it makes me feel better. Anyways, my migraines have been so bad because I, I don't know if I've talked about this, but my jaw has been so tight because I grind my teeth really bad at night. So I've been thinking about getting the Botox, but besides the point, my entire apartment is underwater. <laughs> oh, well I had a migraine yesterday, so I didn't really do anything. I went to home team with Mac and a few of our friends, Ryan, Lily, and Perry and had dinner, but literally came home right after and got back in bed. Woke up this morning. I'm supposed to drive to Georgia because my cousin has her engagement party. Um, woke up to literally putting my feet off the, onto the ground and I was in a puddle. So this is what I've been doing all morning for like the past two hours. So obviously I know life can be a lot worse, but this is really fucking annoying. I don't know if you can tell. No, you definitely can. It's water park. Um, this is the second time it's happened. In a few months, I wish it was um, not the case, but this is currently what my apartment looks like. It's 10.30 Saturday. Alexa, pause. Here's my suitcase because, you know, I'm supposed to leave. Some rugs, yep, and then my bedroom. Had some guy from the hallway help me put my bed up. But the bedroom's pretty bad too. Like all this water, this rug is soaking wet. But I was like, I'm just gonna leave it, whatever. All my electronics. And it's like really gross. Like really gross. Like that's a, that's really gross. Um, here are the dresses I'm supposed to wear today. And then here's Rosie. I know. I'm sorry. Rosie's bed. Got my living room rug in there. But there's not really anything I can do right now. We're waiting. So, like, obviously, our maintenance knows. And they have the water company coming right now to extract all the water. And I, like, was talking to one of the leasing officers. I was like, I have to leave. But I don't want to leave my apartment like this. Because I called my cousin, obviously, like, right when I woke up. And I was like, okay, I'm going to be probably late. Because it's, like, a three-hour drive. She lives in South Georgia. Um... I was like, I feel like I don't feel comfortable leaving my apartment like this, but also like she's literally my cousin. Like I'm going to her engagement party. I'm just going to look a little rough and I might be fashionably late, which it's okay because we're dealing with something, but yeah, so fun. Right? So I was like talking cause I feel like everyone I've talked to about this, they're like, Oh my God, you got to like do something about it. But like, it's, I feel so bad because it's obviously not the people that work here at the office. It's not their fault. It's whoever built this building's fault. So they're giving us rent back for a month, but I've been talking to my parents and I think I'm going to try to like terminate my lease and move to a different 
like level because I'm on level two of this apartment complex and something with the pipe bursted twice in the courtyard. So that's why floor two. And it's like, it always floods in Charleston. Like if you live in Charleston, then like you kind of know it's gonna happen. Life could be worse. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. But so all the water, they were so good about it, but all the water is now up. My rug is like soaking wet, but they're bringing in fans. My bed is up. Um, obviously like my dressers and stuff, they're like wet, but it's fine. They're gonna come bring fans in. Everything's okay. Not really, but you know, I'm gonna leave this window open. It has like a shield, a shield. Is that what I just called it? I just called that a shield. Gonna leave a window cracked just to like air it out because it is like kind of gross water. Um, all of Rosie's toys got wet. I'm so sad about. But I'm bringing Rosie, we're about to leave. We are making it to my cousin's engagement because I have to make it. But I'm okay, barely. My head's literally spinning, but I will probably not vlog that much when I get to the engagement party because it's literally about my cousin. But I'll do some clips here and there probably on my phone. But uh, three hour drive, love y'all.